Recently, Sam Altman gave an intriguing interview to the free press. For the first time, he delved deeply into the topic of superintelligence. Superintelligence is not something we hear about often, primarily because it's typically viewed as a distant concept, something so far in the future that it's almost impossible to envision. However, there's been a growing buzz in the industry, with increasing claims and whispers suggesting that superintelligence might arrive much sooner than we think, possibly within just a few thousand days. This article and interview are truly captivating. Not only do we get some insightful statements from experts, but we also hear from a former OpenAI researcher who provides us with some intriguing information about superintelligence. As you can see here, the article is titled, Sam Altman, AI Integration and the Rise of Superintelligence. Next, he discusses his interview and provides insights on the overall state of artificial intelligence in their world. One of the topics that came up during the conversation with Sam was the September Manifesto. If you're not familiar with it yet, trust me, it's something you should definitely check out. I believe this manifesto offers one of the clearest insights into what the future might look like with the rapid advancements in AI. It's rare to come across a blog post that's both incredibly detailed and easy to understand, giving us a real sense of how society will evolve in the coming years. What they're referring to is what's called the Intelligence Age. This was published not too long ago, and I found it to be incredibly insightful when thinking about the future. It helps us understand how AI, AGI, and of course ASI will shape society and influence everyone moving forward. One of the key points mentioned here is the idea of envisioning what things might look like in 18 months, particularly as we approach the summer of 2026. The question is, how will superintelligence emerge? And according to him, we need to focus on the pace of scientific progress. He describes how advancements could accelerate in the coming years, which is quite intriguing. When considering superintelligence, one of the areas it will likely impact the most is scientific progress. This is where superintelligence could have the biggest effect. We already see advancements in mathematics, with AI models making rapid progress. For instance, the test time compute of these models and their performance on benchmarks is simply astounding, especially considering it's only the second iteration. Another exciting aspect is the potential breakthroughs in scientific research. Imagine an AI that can handle specific tasks or experiments for you. This could revolutionize both productivity and scalability in research. One often overlooked possibility is that even if AI doesn't become 10 times smarter than humans, we could still replicate the efforts of 10,000 scientific teams working on research simultaneously. Think about how quickly progress could be made. While physical factors like supply chain delays may cause some slowdowns, in the realm of software development, things will likely move at lightning speed because there are few bottlenecks to hold back progress. He actually discusses this in the short clip right here. One thing that I use as a sort of my attempt at my own mental framework for it is the rate of scientific progress. Um, if the rate of scientific progress that's happening in the world as a whole tripled, or maybe even like 10x, you know, the discoveries that we used to expect to take 10 years and the technological progress that we used to expect to take 10 years, if that happened every year, and then we compounded on that the next one, and the next one, and the next one, that to me would feel like super intelligence had arrived. And it would, I think in many ways, change the way that society, the economy work, it, what it won't change, and I think a lot of the sort of AI commentators get this wrong, is it won't change like the deep fundamental human drives. Uh, and so in that sense, you know, we've been through many technological revolutions before, things that we tend to care about and uh, what, what drive all of us, I think change very little or maybe not at all through most of those, but the world in which we exist will change a lot. What's truly remarkable about all of this is the ongoing curiosity about when we might achieve super intelligent AI. Many people still wonder when we'll reach artificial general intelligence, AGI. A key point mentioned in a recent blog post, what Forbes has dubbed the September Manifesto, is the possibility of achieving super intelligence within a few thousand days. While it could take longer, the author expressed confidence that we will eventually get there. This timeline is both fascinating and thought-provoking. A few thousand days leaves plenty of room for speculation, but the blog post delves into more specifics. 
For those eager for an exact date, you might recall an interview where it was suggested that we could see superintelligence in about 3,500 days. That's a bit further off than some might have expected. But when you consider the transformative potential of such a technology, it's still relatively soon. Think about it. 3,500 days for a breakthrough that could revolutionize everything. Technological advancements often build on one another. For example, the invention of the computer completely transforms society, leading to a more interconnected world. Now, as these connections grow, we're seeing even more incredible innovations emerge. It's truly mind-blowing to imagine how these developments could shape our future. The possibilities are endless, and the impact of this kind of progress will undoubtedly be profound. In the essay, you actually say a really big thing, which is ASI, super intelligence, is actually thousands of days away. Maybe. I mean, that's our hope, yeah. our guess, whatever. Uh, but that's a very wild statement. Yeah. Um, Tell us about it. I mean, that's, that's big. That is really big. I can see a path where the work we are doing just keeps compounding and the rate of progress we've made over the last three years continues for the next three or six or nine or whatever. Um, you know, nine years would be like 3,500 days or whatever. If we can keep this rate of improvement or even increase it, like that system will be quite capable of doing it. For those who might label Sam Altman as a speculator or someone merely fueling hype to attract investors to his company, this is no longer just about what Sam Altman is saying. It's also worth noting that, for those closely following the broader AI community, these sentiments are echoed by Ilkov as well. We also need to consider the broader AI community. Logan Kilpatrick, a key figure at Google AI, has mentioned that achieving a direct path to ASI is appearing increasingly likely as we approach the end of the month. This is what Ilya Sutskever observed. Remember, he highlights that the success of scaling test time compute something Ilya identified early on, is a strong indicator that this direct approach to scaling might continue to be effective. This is truly fascinating because if you watch Ilya Sutskever's talk on superintelligence, he shares some crucial insights into the possible future direction of AI development. Regarding AI reasoning, I was genuinely amazed by his talk. It's incredibly insightful, and it's surprising how much valuable information we're getting from these industry leaders. Despite the secrecy surrounding this company, Ilya provided an important update on where he believes AI advancements are headed. Our incredible language models and their unbelievable chatbots, and they can even do things, but they're also kind of strangely unreliable and they get confused when, while also having dramatically superhuman performance on evals. So it's really unclear how to reconcile this. But eventually, sooner or later, the following will be achieved. Those systems are actually going to be agentic in a real ways. Whereas right now, the systems are not agents in any meaningful sense. Just very, that might be too strong. They are very, very slightly agentic. Just beginning. It will actually reason. And by the way, I want to mention something about reasoning. Is that a system that reasons, the more it reasons, the more unpredictable it becomes. The more it reasons, the more unpredictable it becomes. All the deep learning that we've been used to is very predictable because if we've been working on replicating human intuition, essentially, it's like the gut feel. If you come back to the 0.1 second reaction time, what kind of processing we do in our brains? Well, it's our intuition. So we've endowed our AIs with some of that intuition. But reasoning, and you're seeing some early signs of that, Reasoning is unpredictable, and one reason to see that is because the chess AIs, the really good ones, are unpredictable to the best human chess players. So, we will have to be dealing with AI systems that are incredibly unpredictable. They will understand things from limited data. They will not get confused, all the things which are really big limitations. I'm not saying how, by the way, and I'm not saying when. I'm saying that it will. And when all those things will happen together with self-awareness, because why not? Self-awareness is useful. It is part, you ourselves are parts of our own world models. When all those things come together, we will have systems of radically different qualities and properties that exist today. And of course, they will have incredible and amazing capabilities. But the kind of issues that come up with systems like this, and I'll just leave it as an exercise to um, imagine, 
It's very different from what we are used to. And I would say that it's definitely also impossible to predict the future. Really, all kinds of stuff is possible. That was an excerpt from a longer 20-minute talk. In it, he explains that superintelligence will possess general intelligence, the ability to reason, understand, and even achieve self-awareness. If you're curious about what superintelligence might look like when it finally arrives, I came across a fascinating snippet from a former researcher at Exop. It offers a compelling glimpse into what the next 3,500 days could hold. This insight is particularly intriguing because we rarely get perspectives from former Exop employees, making this one something truly worth paying attention to. I personally would think that some combination of bigger models with more compute and models that have been more specifically trained to operate in these types of environments will succeed. And the question is just, how long will it take to succeed? I think you could totally succeed in the next 12 months, but probably it will take a few more years than that because everything always takes longer than you expect. That's sort of one way of summarizing my view. I would imagine that if you could go inside these companies and look at their optimistic timelines, that it would be something like, within 12 months, we will have something like Claude 3.5 Sonic Computer Using Agent, except it actually works really well, and we can just delegate tasks to it and have it running autonomously in the background, doing all sorts of useful things for us. I would bet that they're like having a roadmap to try to get that this year. But realistically, things take longer than you expect, and there's going to be unforeseen difficulties and so forth. So where does the 2027 number come from? It's a combination of a bunch of different heuristics and a bunch of different trends and guesses and so forth. One thing I would say is that if you just do the obvious and very good thing of taking various benchmarks and extrapolating performance on those benchmarks, some of them get to superhuman performance this year, some of them get to superhuman performance next year. But like around 2027, in my subjective guess, based on all the benchmark extrapolations I've seen, is when it feels like I can say all the current benchmarks will be saturated. So what are your thoughts on the future of superintelligence? Does it feel closer now that many respected industry leaders are discussing it as a potential reality? Or does it still seem like a distant dream with all of us caught up in the hype? Here, we see Gary Marcus, a well-known AI critic, sharing his perspective. His insights are always intriguing because he plays a crucial role in the AI industry, acting as a kind of watchdog to ensure progress remains balanced and responsible. In this discussion, Marcus poses a thought-provoking question. Will AI be capable of achieving eight significant milestones by the end of 2027? Among these challenges, he highlights the ability for AI to watch an unseen mainstream movie without relying on reviews and fully understand the plot twists, know when to laugh, and demonstrate long-form coherence. Given the advancements we've already made, such as needle-in-a-haystack tests, I believe this particular task might be relatively straightforward. Marcus also raises another point, whether AI will be able to read new mainstream novels, again without reading reviews, and consistently answer questions about the plot, character conflicts, and motivations. With the continuous expansion of infinite memory and larger context windows, this too seems like an achievable goal in the near future. Creating engaging and concise biographies or obituaries without factual errors seems straightforward. However, it's not the most exciting task, so let's skim past that and dive into the more intriguing challenges. The latter tasks, such as producing high-quality fiction and non-fiction books with minimal human input, seem much more ambitious. Writing Oscar-worthy screenplays with little to no human involvement? That's an even bigger leap. But imagine a framework where an AI generates thousands of screenplays, an audience evaluates them, and the highest-rated one gets selected. This approach might sound futuristic, but with the right computational power and an AI-trained audience that mirrors real-world preferences, it could be achievable. Then there's the wildest challenge, enabling AI to make paradigm-shifting, Nobel-worthy scientific discoveries without human intervention. This requires an extraordinary leap in AI capabilities. On top of that, converting complex mathematical proofs written in natural language into symbolic formats for verification it's a monumental task, showcasing how far AI needs to go. These ideas might seem like science fiction now, but they're the kind of ambitious goals driving innovation in AI. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.